I just want to make sure that you guys all understand my expectations. And we'll talk about that and we'll keep going and going and going until you understand the difference between um, you know, what your pitch is and what the expectations are of that. So again, I'll just look at the room here and everybody here as I look is different. You're all different. So therefore, when you look at what type of hitter you are, or what type of hitter you want to become, um, I think that, you know, again, Katie Medina hitting in Brittany Schutte, Kelsey Horton, and Cheyenne Coyle's group. Yeah, probably not the greatest thing in the whole wide world. She might come out of here thinking she needs to hit the ball over the scoreboard. Um, that's not what I want. And same thing with Jess D'Amico. Again, Jess being a freshman and Katie being a freshman. You guys, your strengths are your strengths. Do I want you to hit, would I take you hitting 20 home runs this year? Oh, sure, go for it. Hit 20 home runs. But I'd probably see that the fly ball outs would outweigh the ground ball outs or the tougher you know, plays, and, and that's not what we're trying to get to. So know who you are. Know what it is that you can do. No, my expectations are not you know, 20 plus home runs. Um, you know, and I talked to Cheyenne about this. My expectations aren't for Cheyenne to come up here and have you know, 25 sack bunts this year. But if we have to do some things, we have to move runners long, we do. But you know, I want her to drive runners in. I want her to be able to drive doubles, hit home runs, um, and score runs. Um, but she's also going to walk. And I noticed from all the Team USA stuff, Cheyenne had a ton of walks. Whether it was the pitching or whether it was the hitter, I think it's a combination of both. Some hitters get over anxious because they've been walking a lot. And other hitters just keep taking their walk, keep taking their walk, keep taking the walk until you throw good pitches. And I want that to be our, our mindset. So um, that's good. Sam, that was good. I like that, that, that response that you had. Um, just going to go through the things that we do all the time. Moving runners, scoring runners, scoring runners from third base in less than two outs um, and, and talk about that. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to categorize this. So uh, Chelsea Howell uh, and, and Sammy and Katie Medina, I'm going to put you guys into the same category. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to know what you're going to do moving runners. Okay, I'm going to come back to you in two seconds. Uh, Kelsey Horton, Lauren Hager, um, Casey, Sam, and Jess. No, not you, Jess. So, okay, moving runners. So we'll start with, a, with, a, with a, the three of you. So Chelsea, Sammy, and Katie, I'm gonna to go to you, Sammy, first. Moving runners, first base, nobody out. That's our moving runners, okay? Moving runners from first to second, no outs. Moving runners from second to third, no outs. Moving runners from first to second, I'm sorry, first and second to third and, and, and to second with no outs. Does that make sense? That's the only time we're moving runners. Runner at third base and no outs, okay, I guess you could say we can move them in, but that's a totally different mentality. That's scoring runners. So moving runners from first to second or moving runners from second to third and no out. 